it's a post of really it's, good. Yeah. It's supposed to be like it's like what? think of like MI6. It's called Four Horses. Yeah. I think of MI6. So you have your top tier agents. Right. These guys fucked up, so they're the bottom agents. So, you know, so they don't get like escorts, they don't get the best sound equipment. They don't be, mm. they, yeah, my mic. They're basically like the leftover toys. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking but they have the hugest egos. Yeah. Like, that's the funniest part. I mean, I feel like. What's his name? Is it Gary Oldman? Was it Gary Oldman? Gary Oldman is in it? He's a good actor. I think he's Gary Oldman, yeah. He's one, well, it's him and Sam Rockwell are like one of my top people. National Treasures, right? There. Sam yeah, Rockwell can really dance. Cool. He can. Really you see Sam Rock, Rockwell dance? <laughs> like on, on the Conan comes out and does like he like mimics the Conan dance. I'll just check it out. <laughs> Adam Driver. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Big nose actor, He's, but he has like the perfect big nose. I feel like he gets passive for his nose. Well, he, and, um, he was also allegedly a marine. He was, or was a marine. Marine, yeah. Um, my buddy who's who was in the marines was telling me that like his story about like doing all this stuff that was is like was not true necessarily. Yeah. And so kind of like faltered a little bit. I was like, ah, man, it's kind of a bummer because it's, it's a good story. You know, it's like the military. I do acting. He's a great fucking actor. Yeah. Oh you know, but um, but he's like he's. That movie that came out with I forget what it was called, but the alien or the one where he went back in time. Is that is that the movie that's going on right now? Well, his last movie was the one where he went back in time and uh no oh, wait, he I was in a spaceship one. and he ended up on Earth like six million years ago. And then yeah. Is that the movie that's like that that's he's like torn? Like, like, I don't know. I, don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. But like all all I know is that he like hosted SNL like last weekend. So I'm assuming there's something mm-hmm. like coming out like that involves that movie though. Oh, wow. That looks good. I see, yeah. guys. I need new TV to watch. Like you guys have to put me on because um, I've seen Office. Office. You never seen Office. Office. Sopranos. Have you guys watched The Boys? Yeah. Oh, of course. Fuck yeah. It was really good. You liked the last season, amazing. didn't you? I loved all of it. Well, Yo, Calvin looks season. like a brown version of Billy the Butcher. He's the fucking coolest guy in the world. He's like the main guy. He's like the one going against Helm. Oh, right really? Yeah. I could see that. You know? see Billy Butcher. See, he has that same vibe as like mm. Adam Walker. Like, they look kind of dirty. Who's Walker. Adam Walker? Adam, 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 Driver. Adam, Adam Driver. Adam Driver? Dirty? Like, they look like... You know, you, you, you Adam look Driver's like, not like, really dirty. Like in the shower. You were saying I look like that? No, I was saying Adam <laughs> 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 Girls of Tiafana vibes in. Let her know. Wait, but also, I'm gonna. I look like I need a shower. Anyway. I don't think Adam Driver needs a shower. Wait, wait, so what what makes Adam Driver looks like he needs a shower in the movie I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Here's here's Sam Rockwell. That's Sam Sam Rockwell? No, that's Jimmy Fallon. (laughs) (laughs) That's your boy. Here's Sam Rockwell. (laughs) Fly Girl. Dancing. That's him. Dude, he's the fucking best. Okay, you oh, he's like an old... He's, you he's, guys are crazy. I don't see it. For a white guy, it's not bad. He looks like he lives in Cabo Hill. He probably does, actually. Yeah. That guy's fucking limber. Yeah. No, I fuck, he's the funniest. And Jojo Rabbit... Oh, he was great. Oh, my oh, God. God. That he's last scene great. where he's like... He t- he's, oh, you never seen Jojo Rabbit? Oh, you got to see Jojo Rabbit. Jojo he's getting Jojo Rabbit, isn't he? Like, yeah, he well, is. They, they get, no, well, he, it just isn't the same. No, but it's like, it's well, there's that scene with the other there. guy... Because, they, because they, they, they made it seem like when he, remember, he, when he finally comes out, the colors he's wearing is a rainbow colors. So it's just in his, in his cap. His uniform, yeah. So he was designed that way. Like yeah, he was. He didn't want to outward say it, but he was gay. And then there's yeah. that scene where Joe uh, Scarlett Johansson walks in into his office. Yeah, he's about to make out with the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even that. He's like a hot dog in his mouth yeah. or something, and he's about to. Oh, like, that one. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, sorry. You never seen Joe so Rabbit? funny. Should I? Yeah, yes. you'll like it. It's a comedy. It's so fun. It's, it's Taika Waititi. The the. You guys ever watch Bridesmaids? Bridesmaids? No. Yes. Yes. He's watched Five Days. Why haven't you watched Five Days? I don't know. It's I don't watch a lot of. Oh, I watch a lot of comedies. There's no appeal to you. You do. I love them, but not Bryson. Bryson. 
You do. Also, you gotta watch. Uh, have you watched JoJo? Did not watch Bridesmaid. I watched watch what's it called? Let me put it on my JoJo Rabbit. JoJo Rabbit. And it's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh. What's his name? Hulu. JoJo. Hulu. Yeah, Hulu. Hulu. Um. This is his name JoJo. His, his whole name is like Joe Johannesson, something right. like that. His mother calls him JoJo. JoJo. And then Calvin, that what's the song the you feet. told me to watch? What? Entourage. Entourage. Changes that, that. I mean, in most script writing, you they'll tell that? you oh never. E N T O U R A G E. But it works. Tiki pulls it off. I know. Um. Also, uh, another movie that's really good and funny is uh, "Please Don't Destroy," the 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 tale of Foggy Mountain or something like that. Really fucking funny. It's a like these three guys. You see, I never watch funny movies. I always watch serious <laughs> shit. It just came out. It's really I funny. watch documentaries about murder. Like, me and Ron, that's all we watch, which is really, really fucking weird. Like, we just watch, like, murder documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just find you through fucks out on that one. <laughs> that's, like, the highlight of our Sunday. We'll, like, watch murder documentaries all Sunday. Watch a comedy movie. Yeah. Wow. Right? Really? I watched, like, two episodes, no. and I just saw Philly. Uh, yeah. Like, Rod, yeah, Rod yeah. doesn't so I watch he doesn't like anything one, that's like, fake. He needs it to be like a real based off a true story or a real thing. It has to be real. He doesn't like anything that's like he doesn't. It, he's the total opposite of me. Like I like TV. He doesn't like anything that's creative. Like I was watching The Handmaid's Tales and he hates The Handmaid's Tale. He's like it's so long. It's so Listen, fake. Season one of The Handmaid's Tale was great. Oh, the whole thing. Was season great. two was good. After that, I couldn't watch it anymore. I heard because it really? part, right? No, because it's like, how many times are you going to get out of the society where you could be free, but then you come back in because of somebody? Her daughter. You know? Her daughter. She got her daughter out, right? No, her daughter is stuck there. She had a baby with somebody in there. Oh, God. So she had to go back for her original daughter. Oh, the first, the first oh, <laughs> Did you so get her daughter funny. out? She did get her no, daughter. She got out. the second daughter out. The first daughter. There was one season where she was stuck in like a, a warehouse. She literally got pregnant in Gilead. That's the second daughter. The first daughter was the one that she had with the one with, with her husband that escaped. And th- that first daughter got out, right? No, that first daughter is being raised in Gilead. Say say daughter again. Daughter. 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 That's a long daughter. That's a long yeah. No, the, no, that's either that or just like Bronx. Like the Bronx. The do say, I, do say, I say, like say that? sauce. Say sauce. Sauce. Fucking What does that yeah, mean? I fucking knew it. Sauce. 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 You don't say sauce, sauce like sauce. that. Sauce. sauce. I say sauce. You have a, you added a little Y. In say there. Coffee. 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 Um, but that what you're picking up on is a Long Island accent. Yeah, is that what it is? It's a Long Island yeah, accent, but it's very it's thinned out and it's like blanched with. I'm Hispanic and Long Island, so it's yeah. like a combination of Italian. rice and beans and yeah. bagels. So it's yeah. like a little bit of it's a little bit of everything. And then with you, it's a little sprinkle. You know, a little sprinkle of you know, <laughs> a little sprinkle of like what's it called? Rainbow sprinkle. The LGBTQ rainbow. <laughs> <sprinkle>. <laughs> My neighbor, she's, she's. Did you see that? Did you guys ever what? see that? Like, you go into a bagel shop and like, there's actually like a fucking bagel that looks like the LGBTQ. It's bagel. the rainbow bagel. Yeah. I don't want to eat that. That's not an LGBTQ bagel. Maybe it's a it rainbow. Is, no, it's a bagel. rainbow bagel. This is like, not, yeah, so it's literally called a rainbow, rainbow bagel. It's not associated with. Are you trying to say that? That's no, the, <laughs> it's so a you, rainbow bagel. So you, it's a rainbow bagel. Multicolor colors within the bagel. Multi. It's a rainbow bagel. LGBTQ bagel. Isn't, no. it, isn't it like LGBTQ I plus, plus, plus furries? There's a subscription to it. Plus. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know like when you get Paramount, Paramount number, Plus. Paramount plus. <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, the one person I, I follow is like, you know Blair White, right? You know Blair White? Actually, I do know. No, I know Blair Spice. But yeah. she's always, she's trans woman. She's always talking about how they keep expanding. Yeah, Letters. to include everybody, yeah. to be all inclusive. Yeah, yeah. Has furries been included? I don't know. Furries have always been. Furries who? is just a subgenre. Furries? Yeah. They got like strategically placed genital holes for fucking. No, no furries. I think like they have sex with like yeah the fur costumes. Furry costumes. But they have they like openings mask. where they're strategically placed. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole world. Are furries a part of the LGBT? That's what I'm asking. Well, they wouldn't be a part. They would be like a subgenre. So like they're already inclusive. 
It's like an all inclusive, like you know, you go to a resort that, that's that's like, that's, like <laughs> that's already involved, but you don't you don't say like so it's, it's already it's, there. But here's the thing, right? If you have a a fetish of any kind, is that included within the LGBTQ? I guess. I guess. Like, so. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I guess like I guess like gay people are more. What's the word? Gay people are kind of like more open about like. What did you say? I. Like it's subgenres, like, like whatever gay fetish. People, gay people are more open about fetishes, while straight people they do it in secret. So like, gay gay men and straight men, you're you're the same person, right? Straight men love women's stilettos. They want women to step on their balls with stilettos. No, not that. Well, well, no, 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 I'm no, just no, talking no. fetish. Oh, okay, so no. ready fetish wise, like they don't talk about that. While a gay man will easily talk about like, oh my god, like step on me with your fucking boot. You get it? It's you know I used to do that? Remember I used to be in that band, Evelyn? Yeah. That was her side gig. No, she was Dominatrix? She was a Dominatrix, yeah, for a lot of rich dudes. Yeah. She was on the cover of a couple of different magazines. Like I don't it's this metal band called Behemoth. And mm-hmm. the plan was you Behemoth. You probably it's heard of them. They were very extreme, but um the bass player was trying to hit it. Like he was trying to deal with them. He was like, Yo, if you you get a band together, we let you tour with us. Like, yeah. But she was into that. She was kicking dudes in the balls and whipping them. She's like and the shit. wax. And whatever. those girls make a lot of money. They do. Let me yeah. tell you, especially yeah. trans trans women. I'm gonna tell you right now, trans women get fucking money, money because there's a whole world of like straight guys that low key and uh, low key, high key, whatever. They love their trans women. They love it, and those girls make fucking money. Why don't you go to Thailand then? Like, yeah, the but then the boys. I'll play devil's advocate on this one. Why spend the amount of money on traveling to Thailand when when you have a beautiful could, Puerto Rican girl in the when box. you can take that money <laughs> and then yeah. get two trans? The travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. travel, see the country, you know. Yeah. I saw a video the other day. There. It popped up. It's like a, a trans lady, uh, a lady boy. Went up to a guy and she said, I, I give you a trans five... woman. F- but they said lady boy over there. Why? Where? That's what you call the Oh, okay. And she said, I give you $500. Fuck you. And he's like, no, I don't have $500. And she's like, no, I give you $500 to fuck you. <laughs> and he was like, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. But it's like, it's weird because you think you're going over there to pay them. And then some of them are like, I'll pay you. To fuck you. Jesus Christ. Would you? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, to be honest though, have you guys never had that kind of sexual fantasy about paying for sex? Fantasy? Yeah. Uh, I've, done, I've, I've done it. Is it not hot? Well, it was a massage. It was, it was a massage. And then at the, so I was getting massaged at the very end of like uh, uh, an extra 60 for a full finish. Mm-hmm. And I was, yeah. I was like, uh, sure, yeah, why not? And uh, yeah, it's fine. It was whatever. What went through your mind? It was probably professional. It was. It was. It sucks. Like it probably didn't it feel really, sexual. It really it was sucked. More just like a release. Um, no, it really. Fu- so I had my problem was I had a back issue. My lower back. It always starts with a back issue. Oh, it, it is. It was. It really <laughs> was. <laughs> And uh, I had a back so, 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 Can you go a little lower? A little lower? No, a little no, lower, never. A little, a little lower. No, I'm sorry, no, no, no. And then so, <laughs> so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had like a towel on everything and like shed all these Wait, you make it? Yeah. yeah. You didn't have underwear on? No. So before, she's like, so all that. I was like, okay, yeah. And so, but it lasted because I don't like, I, I do like blowjobs. I don't get off on blowjobs. Neither do I. I don't like I feel you on it, that. It, right. It's like I don't really. It's, it's, it's like all right, all right, all right, all right. let's move on to the main yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to the main moment. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, skip the ass, skip the ass. Skip the- <laughs> yeah, right. this is nice. All right, great. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's always funny where, where, where girls are, like offended when I don't like finish after a blowjob. I'm not gonna. It's like no, I just I don't care if, i mean i do like it appreciate them but i'm just not it feels great no mm-hmm. but you know what that has to do with um like i'll be honest with you i'm assuming i can base off of what you just said you're you're cut you're definitely cut hell yeah i'm cut too 
And what I mean by that is when you're cut, like uncut men can actually, they can come by getting head. For the most part, when you're cut, oh, I think mean like jacks, is, is uh, like the, um, when you're cut, like, your sensation is different. So like you're not gonna get off the same way from just getting head. Come from cut, yeah. come from cut. Yeah. 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 But yes, I, I am I am cut in that regard. Cal is not. I'm not. No, nope. oh, you're uncut. Oh my god. I knew you were. Uncut. We talked about it the last episode. Yeah. Did you guys talk? Are you, who asked the question? It was just yeah. a question that was just and what said. You say? I think I brought You it. already know the answer to I this. I don't know. Are you okay? It, it feels so weird looking at you in your eyes. Wait, okay, then don't look and at me. Are you like... okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's like, the question wouldn't matter if you asked me. But it mattered more with you looking into my soul. I, <laughs> I, 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 I can't control that. I, it's not I, me. I, I am natural. Good for you. Dude, I am watching that's got to be tough. No, it's not. It's not tough. No, it's great. It's not tough. Actually, most why do you it. think it's why? Why do you think he likes his chubs? All right. No, it's not. No, 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 no. There's no. This, listen, if you have good hygiene, there's no cheese. What people say. Oh, of course, I agree. Okay. If, if you soap and water, and you speaking of soap, and say there you go. I um, you slide it up, it. You know, but it's it's just being staying on top of yourself. Yes. Well, I'll tell you guys, I'm pro uncut. Like I think we should in this country we should stop cutting people because if I had a choice, I would be uncut. I I sent you guys a video the other day. What about the yeah? It's a, it's what, what was that? I saw that it was the one. They were saying was like sixty percent. Oh no, the number is dropping. It's forty percent now. It's starting to be where people are choosing to yes. not being yeah. circumcised. Yeah, because that's the way it should be. That's nature. Now imagine if you did that to a woman, you're castra castra or castra. Um, there's there's a civilization in Africa. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Ethiopia. So it's like, why do we do that? It's like if it's un if it's wrong to do that to women, why would you do that to men? You know, these boys, what? their first experience I mean, out of the womb is you cut them. You cut them really because, okay, it's hygienic. But really, like, for instance, my mother, she fucking, I know my mother. My mother did it because she's like, oh, a free procedure? Okay, sure. She's like, oh, yeah, that's what we should do? Like, that's why she did it. But she, they, do, do they, when you're an infant, when you're a baby, newborn, and the, the procedure is doing that, they don't? What do they do? Just, I don't know. I'm just asking. You get out the womb and they literally cut your dick. That's your first experience. You're not yeah, but you, it. but you, yeah, exactly. You don't but remember the, it. The, the amount of pain. Mine was cut like last year. But imagine your first experience in the world coming out of a womb is getting your dick castrized. Mm -hmm. Like you don't. Yes, you don't remember what that's like, but it does carry on deep down somewhere inside where like a lot of people. There's a whole thing if you look at our guys. The they were saying. Yeah, what? and there's a whole world of people that they're like, yo, like. I wish I was uncut. There's a whole world. If you look into it, there's a whole world of people that actually try to regrow their foreskin yeah, by using Oh, weights. my God. Really? Weights. Yeah. And there's I, ways I, to do yeah, that. They, 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 your skin and they pull it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can do that. They, but, like, it, that's just adding to more. Like, you can't regrow your skin. So, like. If you, you stress, to... if you stress the skin that you have left over, your skin's so, last. Yes, mm -hmm. if you stress it enough, it will go over. But you'll never get those nerve, those nerve endings back. Yeah. You'll never get those like your gland. That's mm -hmm. a gland. Like that's a whole fucking gland. You'll never get those nerve endings back. But it it will protect it. It will lubricate whatever you know. Does ping suck? No. No, it doesn't like kind of like jet off or whatever. Oh, that no. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but you cut. No, here's a story. So when I was a kid, and you know how it is, like parents, you put all the good stuff in the higher cupboards, right? Mm -hmm. So my father, he used to wax um, countertops. So my cat used to hide in the bottom cabinet. To get to the stuff in the, the higher cabinet, I used to climb up. I slipped one day as my cat is actually coming out. The door swings open. I fall down like horse saddling. Boom, on my nuts. It fucked up my fucking dick to the point where I was peeing to the left. <laughs> oh my god. So I had to get a surgery. None of this. You get a surgery? Yeah. Have a huge scar that 
Are you fucking serious? Scar, there's a scar, yeah. Wait, it's so it. does like your dick curve? I mean, <laughs> I think it does naturally. <laughs> it's <laughs> only, only you would act like <laughs> like we would be like, damn, bro. <laughs> 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 so yeah. next topic. <laughs> No, but but the thing is though, um, if you have a curved dick and it's like eight plus inches, does it kind of do like the? Uh, uh, does it curve back? Are you asking if his dick curves back? No, I don't know. I don't have an eight inch dick. It? Were you assuming that I have an eight inch dick? <laughs> oh, I was right there. Right, Calvin hangs two inches before. Right, Calvin hangs two inches above the floor. That's all that's for you. Two <laughs> women. They say they say the perfect dick that women like. So like. The perfect dick that women like is Watch. a dick that curves upwards. See? Yes! See? And about how big? I don't... Well, woman, you know what's funny? People, you know, we live well, in a you society... You wouldn't know, would you? I would. So, listen, <laughs> we live in a society where, like, you know, oh, you know, bigger is better, bigger is better. Women really can't take dick like that. They can't take dick. See, like, told you. they could really only take, like, six to eight inches. Damn. They can't... A- anything more than that, no. you just, you're not really getting it all the way. And they're not having I'm fun. Like, I'm, like, three inches They're off. pretending. They're not really I was telling her, like, it was this porn show. She was saying, because, like, the G spot, she says, like, literally, technically, four inches into it. So, these dudes is packing, like you said, like, eight inches. They always miss in the spot. If yeah. It's anywhere from four to six, they usually hit it where they need it. And that's why a lot of porn stars are like, oh, if you go in, go in, like, at least four inches in, rather than just try to give her the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll never know. What? Well, here we go. Um, researchers estimate the average depth. Res- oh God! No, 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 he likes having sex with women on couches, not not his bed, or not a bed. You, that's your thing. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not my thing. No, in the fucking open. You had a room. Bad thing. You had a room. Not a bad I know. Thing. You could have took it to your room. Why is that no. a bad thing? But you chose to have his sex. Be- his bed is a her. sanctuary. On the ca- no, no, that no, is his no, no. fucking domain. It's an Airbnb. It was a communal thing. Everyone was in this house. Maybe he likes the positions of the couch. But here's the thing. Well, you can find it. It, it, it morphed morph. into sex. All right, it just morphed yeah. into. Sex. And when you could have been like, "Hey, let's go up to my room." I, I know. I can... easily could have. No, but you were like, "Hey." Everyone's gonna walk by here, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna done? still have sex on his couch. Wait, wait, while people are walking by? No, no, um, no. But when that, I had to go downstairs to get my iPad. Oh, and I remember oh. I'm walking by them, but he had me cracking up because he sees me. He just has this huge smile on his face, and he's covering so He's like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, what the fuck? Can, I, I'm like lost. Oh, we we went guys? to a concert. Yeah, well, a music, a music festival. festival. A music festival. A rock okay. concert. All right. And it was me, Will, Marcus, yeah. Miguel, Vanessa. and then Vanessa. Okay. So what what stirred the pot of the story was he met this girl who I, I, girl. I would be from Virginia. Where this I'm woman. Well. This woman. She was older. And then we we got it. We all got in the car. Oh, the concert ended. We couldn't find you. So I now that. Yeah. So now we're trying to call him. We don't know where to fucking go. Mm-hmm. So we're like, all right, let's That's just go to now. the car. Let's just go to the car and we'll just wait there for him. We go to the car. Will's in the car with the girl. <laughs> I didn't get the keys. So no, he had the keys. <laughs> Here's, the Here's the thing. He was like on that that edge where it's like one more drink and it's like you will lose him. Yeah. But we are all on that one more drink. We'll we'll lose ourselves, so we can't tell what's right from wrong, who's drunk, who's sober. And so he he starts driving. He has this girl that he picked up there in the passenger seat. We're all in the back of the truck. We're driving. She keeps rubbing his inner thighs. As she's rubbing his inner thighs. We're on the highway in Florida. Going you know, Florida, you, you can get there's no cops. Days, no cops. So it's America. like we're we're flying down the road. He's flying down the road, and the cars. Go, every time she touches him, the cars like this. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, I go to Vanessa. I was like, this is fucking horrible. Why are we doing this? <laughs> and I would be like, Will, 
Concentrate. Focus. Concentrate. Task, task focus. In hand. Task in hand. And it's like weird. So right. We get back to the Airbnb. Right. Safely. Okay. Safely and sound. Get back to the Airbnb. I had my wristband. Oh my god, no. So it was a wristband that we pay for the concert. It's like um I was trying to take it off, but I didn't want to break my wristband. This is memorabilia for me. Memorabilia. 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 Memorabilia? Not memorabilia. Mem- memorabilia. Memorabilia? Or memorabilia? Memorabilia? Yeah. Philia Would it be? Philia usually implies something. Exactly. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Yeah. 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 So we got back there. I'm trying to take it off. I was like, I don't want to. And I said this. I don't want to break it because I want to keep it. This girl goes, who he brought, grabbed the scissors and grabbed my arm and cut it off. Without it, like, just like, like, just and straight up. I stood there. I, I had my arm like this, and I was like, <laughs> motherfucker. I was like, I just said I don't want to cut this off. Now, I didn't say anything. I just went upstairs. I was pissed. And no one thought anything because we're all intoxicated. Everybody's having fun and stuff. So I went upstairs. Vanessa's upstairs, and she was, and she saw it on my face. She knows me. She was like, "What's wrong with you?" I was like, "Nothing." And she was like, "When you say nothing, <laughs> it's something." <laughs> what's wrong with you? And I was like, "No, the, the girl downstairs cut my wristband <laughs> off." And she was like, "Why did she cut it off?" I was like, "I don't know. I told her not to." And she was like, "Really?" And I, love I stood upstairs calming her down. I was like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't say anything. Don't do anything. And so uh, as I'm calming her down, Marcus went upstairs. Miguel's up there. Who knows what he's doing by himself. <laughs> and then he will takes the girl to the couch. Apparently, they had a great time. And Vanessa <laughs> came out. And she was like, I, want, I got to tell her something. I was like, oh, God. It was like, just calm down. She came out the room. He came out his room. And Vanessa's like, I'm going downstairs. And Marcus's like, great, because I need my iPad. <laughs> I, like, I need my tablet. Marcus's like, I need my tablet. So I'll go with you to go get my tablet. And I guess she went downstairs, told the girl something. She was like, you ever touch my mans again, I will fucking kill you. And no, well, not that, but like it was something. Yeah, I mean, it, it was like. And then I was like, yeah, we should fucking go. Oh my god! Oh. But like, that's crazy because maybe she was like innocent about it. Like she probably didn't think. Yeah, but if someone tells you, I don't want to cut this off. Why would you grab this and go cut it off? Anymore? She did it almost like instantaneously. It yeah, it was like, it was like. But the the thing is about it too. So um, we we were driving back. I was taking her back to her hotel back in Daytona because we were in a town called like New Smyrna, which is like what thirty minutes away from the venue. Okay. And um, I drive her back. It's like five a.m. at this point, or something like that. And um, we ended up uh, kind of like making out in the car when I parked the be- parking lot of her hotel, as you're saying at with I think her boyfriend or husband, which is even worse. Because Mary she was just like and you can pick them, dude. You can pick them. They come to me. What am I doing? They come to fucking me, dude. Mills so, loved me. Did you actually see the actual home? I didn't. I stayed upstairs. And no, so we're like making out and like. But but it's like listen. You end up what? making out with her in the car. Oh, and then, in the yeah, parking lot, yeah. and then we, we look up, and there's just like this like a uh, guy. I think I think who works for the hotel, just staring at us, like <laughs> front on. Was his like yeah. shoulder moving like this? He, he, <laughs> he, might as well, could have been. he was just staring, just like. And I was like, we gotta go. So I, I like reversed the car. I was like, he could have been blind, just looking up. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is why is it every time they're in a car together? He's always about to die because. Of her. Oh my god, dude! Uh, <laughs> the, blood, the, blood, the first time was crazy, and this time he's getting his dick touched by somebody. He's like swerving out of the road. Like I'm a good driver. I'm actually. Are I'm you? Good, I'm a good driver. Every time he's in the car with you, you're a Because you're always fucking 
drunk. Party. Bro. He's just talking about some <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit. Where's the last? Uh, yeah, I well, realize. Well, I don't so let the, you drive when I'm in the car, unless like I'm intoxicated or well. The, shit's pro- the, the problem with that though, there there were added added instances. So yes, I don't do well with like blood being drawn. I, like it makes me queasy, which I find interesting. It's I actually, hate. I hate. It. I just there's a lot of people. Good thing you're not a surgeon. Yeah. 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 Life with that situation. What it is their heart repair? He just falls asleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> we need a medic now. I'm like, got it. Because <laughs> that would be crazy if, like, you actually were into like, you know, like no, medical shit, no, no, no. and you actually went to school for that, and you you hate blood. And you're like, no, dude, dude, I'm sure there so are people. I, I, I can better. I can attest. Not I'm not attest. Attest is a fucking bad word. I can assume. You don't have your red wings. What's that mean? Nah. Uh-oh. What does that, what does that mean? So uh, when you have period. sex with a girl when she's on her period. Yes, I have. Oh. That, that doesn't bother me. No? That doesn't bother me. Them. I've never heard it's anything like that. Does not red wings? Iron fucking... Red wings. You like the smell of raw iron and fucking fish and vaginal fluid? I, I don't... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It's like, well, oh, smell... No. Like it, the primal need and the primal urge of just getting it in and getting it done, you don't. It actually helps them with the whole, um, you know, period issue. Yeah, pain. yeah. Helps them. So that's a thing. It's called your red wings. Red wings. Mm-hmm. I've never heard that. Red wings. No, it's just the blood to me. It's like a very. It's just being bl- drawn from your arm or. or well, if it was a girl in her period, you'd be okay. I'm fine. No, like, if, if someone like has like like a scratch or they're bleeding out, like I'm fine. It's just the pro for some reason the unnatural process. I like actually of, drawing. Yeah, it's out. the unnaturalness of it that like fucking makes me queasy. Like get, getting a shot, I don't care. I'm fine. It's just like blood being drawn. It's unnatural. I mean, it, it's necessary. But what happened in the car? Sure. What What happened in the car with him? He was bleeding, or no? So, uh, I probably shouldn't say that on the podcast. He's on. He's on the phone about the situation where blood, like like gallons of blood, was being drawn from an arm. Oh, and it was the imagery. It was imagery. And I'm driving, and I'm also so. The all, the only other thing too, the night before, when my ex girlfriend and I were dating, we had done a lot of drugs, and I was also very queasy. From that, too. yeah. So I was very just like, and I haven't eaten anything like for like twenty four hours. So I'm just like, and the guy, like, and I just was driving. And we're we're going <laughs> to the hospital. I'm just like veering oh off to the side. Of the, yeah, it, it was a lot of factors. He told me that story, and I was dying. I was yeah. like, I have never heard anything like that, but I think it's so cute that like, like that's like a quirk. Like, if, if okay, if I was gonna die. That would not be the way I want to die. Like, if I want to die, it needs to be, like, a way that's, like, a proper way of dying. Like, I don't want to die because somebody fucking passed out on the highway because of blood. <laughs> and then I die. No. It needs to be, like, I got hit by a car or some random shit. Like, yeah, that, would be, that would be so interesting. I, I, I thought I was going to be fired. <laughs> to be yeah. honest with you. Of what? The, uh, the driving incident. Oh, the driving incident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something right now. That day, I was I was under so much like mental yeah. like just just like from the past and like all the stuff. I was just like so like my mind was racing crazy. But when that happened, when I'm on the phone having a conversation about blood being drawn and blood and tests and all this stuff. Like a liter. I never said gallons or liters, but... <laughs> so much, there was a measurable amount. You put that in you. There was a measurable amount. What? There was. It got to the point when you passed out driving. God, that sounds terrible. And Wait, the car starts the, swerving. Where's the, uh, the one you just gave me? There was only two. There's one uh, next to the Corona. Uh, I mean, the, the beer. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and when you started swerving to the right, and I start seeing cars, no way. Someone sticking piss. No, because the mics are picking all that up. <laughs> you want to fill up too? Yeah, might as well. Hmm, might as well yeah. fill up. Uh, what is that? Peanuts? Yeah. Can I have? Yeah. Wait. 
Wait, you can do... Can you do pistachio nuts, or is that... Yeah, I can do pistachios. Nice! Nice! Wait, why? The Calvin Ready Show! What? Why are you asking me if I can do pistachio? Yeah, <laughs> avocados. They're not the same, they're nuts! Yeah, but is it like the same little, like, the peel situation, or like, uh... No. Isn't there like a situation where it's like, uh, protein of it, or something? Mm -mm. Or a uh, pistachio? Or chemical? No, like avocados, I'm, I can't really do avocados because of the, um, I'm very highly sensitive to, um, pollen. The pollen has like a high, so, I mean, so... Any fruits, high. any fruits, for me, that are self-pollinating, that have the seeds within themselves, mm. I get allergic to. I, I can eat an apple... Yeah. But I can eat the outer parts of an apple. Once I get closer to the core where the seeds are, itchy throat, inflamed gums, all that stuff. Hmm. Is it funny to take it? His mic is in the bathroom right now. No, it's about a cup. Oh, good, good, good. No, that's the thing. It's like I, I, I always get confused with... Uh, like, like not allergy. If anyone has an allergy to the food, I always assume it's also like a peanut allergy. Mm, the no. same kind of yeah i heard peanut is lethal yes yeah, same with seafood right Those are like my dad yeah. has a really bad way to kill seafood. your husband if he has an allergy you just better kill your husband what does your does your uh significant other have a no. your partner Par partner i guess you can a, say fiance uh, now oh, oh, yeah. is that the ring Damn, I hate that word fiance. Oh, it sounds so in between. So we still say it'll be fiance on both parties, right? Yeah, male or female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fiance regardless. But yeah. like, fiance just sounds like I don't like the word fiance. Well, I feel like that's an awesome word. It's, Why? It's, it's not. It's not like my boyfriend and my girlfriend. It's like it's my it's my fucking fiance. And I've always hated boyfriend. Never use boyfriend. I always say partner. Oh, right, right, people yeah. look at me like I think you even pointed out. You're like partner. It sounds like you guys are business partners. You think yeah. you said that to me. Wow. But a lot of other people feel the same way. Like people don't use. It's well, partner. I, I start to realize and I learn too. It's not just um, from a gay aspect. The straight people use that too. Partner. Yeah. Yeah. I was ignorant. Especially that New York. Because when you say yeah, partner, it's yeah. partner in life, partner in everything. Like this is your your person. You know? Well, it's also confusing when, when I'm scouting like a like a townhome or like someone who owns a home, and, but I meet their partner because the the owner of the home isn't isn't there. When you hear partner, do you think it's a, uh, like uh... I, I I don't think otherwise. It's always always like it's just confusing to me because it's always like I probably should ask, but I don't want to. I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. How like, would you like, ask partner as in uh, male or female? You can't yeah, ask that. Yeah, it's so can't. weird. Exactly. Because they're like, oh, my partner's at work, but I, but my partner can meet you there. It's like, are you like, are you like repping? Like, are you like a real estate agent that's repping right, at you home? Just don't know. Or are you, is you referring? So that that's the only annoying qualm I have with it. And then there oh, are people that say relationship partner. Right. But so, no one says that. Oh, my relationship. Oh, you're going to meet my relationship partner. He's going to open the door. Or right. they're going to open the door. Nobody does that. Yeah. yeah. But we're in like a weird time period where. Like, but nine times out of ten, it's, it's actually like but that's the thing, like, we're in a time period where, like, words mean everything now. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, like, in, in what we do for work, right? Have you guys noticed in the past five years, easily five years, we don't say it's a real estate kind of and our industry also com combination. We don't say master bedroom. We say right. primary right. bedroom. Right, 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 right. right because right. now you can't say master bedroom because it has that connotation of, the master yeah. of you know it's a it's, it's a almost like a racer yeah, too, yeah. Mm -hmm. slavery it's what so now everything is so much more proper you have to be careful with your words we're in that place yeah, yeah. Um, like okay. same boy he's a boy he's <clears> well it, it, here's the thing yeah. now we're gonna uh, we're gonna go into word language right they them him her zer zem what <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> jo Giovanni, yeah. you are gay. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. What? God damn it. Hey, here's the thing, right? That's like been jacking me all these <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that is the end of the show. <laughs> um, okay. What what would you consider yourself? Because like, are you, are are you millennial or Gen uh, Z? I'm a millennial. Millennial. Yeah. Now. Yeah, you're a millennial too. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm a millennial. So, these words that people are using to identify themselves as, mm. right? In the gay community, w- what does it mean to you by they, them, zer, zim? Like, like, what weight do these, do they hold? They, they do hold a lot of weight. It holds a lot of weight. It's, so when you're referring to somebody as they, them, and you're going the extra mile, because now it's very hard. Even for gay people, it's very hard to, you know, train yourself to be on that level of, I guess, consciousness of how you should talk about people or how you should address people. It's not easy, but we all try to do it. We all try to, you know, do it. Your initial question, though, like my standpoint on it is like, there are people who actually benefit from that whole thing. So like, for instance, like people who are trans, like, you know, male to female or female to male, they benefit a lot from that respect level of being called they, them, because it further pushes the fact that like, you're understanding them, you're seeing them, you're respecting them. And then all that trickles down. So if you can get with like the basic concept of like they, them, then everything trickles down. It's here's where it gets tricky. Where it gets tricky is when you have, you know, you have that like transplant gentrified, you know, rando don't, don't kill me for this, but like rando white girl who, Mm -hmm clearly is doing it for attention right. and then mm-hmm. will make a whole scene <clears throat> a, a scene out of things yeah. like for instance i'll give you another example the other example is like it's when you don't give people grace so even as a gay person and all my friends or whatever it, it's not it's not like a one-track thing it's a learning it's a learning experience so you got to give people grace don't just assume that I'm supposed to understand your pronouns or I'm supposed to under, I'm supposed to just assume anything. You know what I mean? Like for instance, in what we do for work, you know, I got called out on my last job for writing an email where I'm like, Hey guys, I would always address my emails as Hey guys. And I got told by my location manager, I'm like, you, you can't say Hey guys anymore because one of my assistants was uncomfortable. And I'm like, whoa, wow. I'm like, first of all, I'm, I'm fucking gay. <laughs> I'm like, Don't tell me how, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that was my initial, my initial reaction was that. And then when you're whatever, you have to, you kind of have to like, because you can't, you can't sort of punish everybody because you have that one person that's like using it as a way to kind of get attention because there are people that benefit from from being from from that respect you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like and the people that usually benefit from that are the real trans people like the people that are like male to female or female to male and they actually are like that's who they are as a person so that's that's that but it does get confusing. It is. It does. I, I was, guess I was working with this electric, and um, they had the button that said they, and went by the name Escobar. And it was a female, you know, whatever. But I mean, like, it was very hard. Their name was Escobar? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 Escobar. They, they, Escobar. They, they, Escobar. You're not just, <laughs> just going to be like, Hey girl, yeah. hey Escobar. No. Yes, but it was but it was fucking tough because like you would see Escobar walk around and you like, man, Escobar got an ass. <laughs> 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 it was got an ass. It was one of those things like you know, but I respect that. Some, you know, and you know what? It's a generational thing. I'll yeah, tell you yeah, this yeah. right now. So like in gay world, right? You got Gen X, millennials, and Gen Z. Mm. So Gen X is old school. Like my husband, my fiance, mm-hmm. soon to be husband, 
Gen X. He's old school. And a lot, I hang out with a lot of people that are Gen X. They're old school. They're like, you know, in their 40s already. Mm -hmm. They come from that whole world where like they look at the newer generation. They're like, fuck your pronouns. Mm -hmm. But then we try as millennials, we try yeah. to teach them like, no, no, no. This is actually like a thing. Like, you know, it's actually meaningful. And they're actually receptive to it. But also, too, what you're not going to do is, then this is the issue, when it comes to, like, the workplace or whatever, give people grace. Like, you know, if you have an issue with somebody with your pronouns, come to that person first. Don't just automatically jump the gun and go, go to, to the HR, HR yeah. and be like, oh, this person misgendered me. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you don't know, because a lot of times these people, Escobar. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Escobar had a fat ass, but Escobar was Escobar. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like it's it's a it's like kind of like a work with you kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a work with you kind of thing. It's like everybody has to meet each other halfway. But then, the thing is, then, is does, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, but then does it get to the point where it's like as a as humans, do we get to the point where we instead of adding more directive to words? Where it's like now we subtract and eliminate them to where it's like, all right, let's not use he, him, her, they, them. Just use the name. Well, that's a good way to think about it. You know what I mean? Like, this, is like you don't know. That's who like the most. By name. That's the easiest way to be honest. That's the most mature, easiest way. That's sure. the most yeah. mature way to think about it. No, no, but it, it by by but by saying the name, it's not. You shouldn't associate the name by gender. It's. This is them. So that way you're not uh, uh, affecting people. The, it's like, learning that's curve. Giovanni. That's Will. I am right, Calvin. Right. That is Marcus. Yeah, but when you're talking that's to it. a group, and you know, like, for, like, hey, you all. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Y'all. Y'all. You, you know, it's like, I've, and I've done that. that now. Like, because being the head of a department, I don't say guys or girls. What do you all want to do? Hey, everyone. Why don't you say y'all? Yeah, that's yeah, so y'all. No, but no, it's, it's, South baby, Virginia. But it's like, <laughs> like y'all. You know, yeah. you're. You know what I mean? I'm like, here. That. trust my my set trust is like, yo, bitches, let's get this shit. Like, <laughs> like, everybody's fair, you know. Bitches, you know, yeah. Bitches? Uh, actually, actually, men can be bitches. Everybody can be bitches. And I, I, um, I actually do appreciate that. Where it's like just just clear. No, up. but you don't yeah. want to. You no, no. Uh, well, I'm, I mean, yeah. people can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but like, we should just. say Y'all, you all, everyone, or just call but them. But we're all learning that together because yeah. now, five years ago, seven years ago, you would have never thought about that. No, of course not. You, no, when no, I no, first no. met you, you guys, were, hey guys, hey guys, yeah. what are you guys doing? You know, yeah. and it'll be female and guys. Yeah. yeah, but no one at that time took it to a point where it's like, what do you mean? Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, hey guys, the girls in the group would be like, yes. You know, like, yeah. or it'd be kind of funny if you just switched up the narrative where it's like, it's like, hey, guys and dolls. Mm. Guys and dolls. Maybe. I feel like I could get away with saying that. Yeah. 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 If you said that, people would be like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> <awesome. laughs> like, what? If you don't know, say that, I'm like, what does he mean by <laughs> They're that? They're like, is you he know? okay? <laughs> <laughs> so funny, it, it, dude. I think it all depends on, like, the way how you look, too. Yeah, and it, it is how you look, but it's also like, again, it's a whole learning experience. And I think another thing that I'm kind of taking away from it, it's not always female to male or male to female. Sometimes, like, there are people who they're just a regular person and they genuinely inside. They don't have to be in a dress. They don't have to be in a suit or whatever. And they genuinely inside, like, they don't refer to themselves as a man or a woman. And that is okay. But that's the thing, you can't get an entire country on board with that overnight. It does take time. And I feel like mm -hmm. there's like a fine line between, you know, we're protected by our inner cities. Like, you know, like we live in New York, LA, Miami. Yeah. If you go into go fucking, Nebraska, little, Arkansas, little Rock, there's Arkansas, no way. and you there's work no there. Way. So now if that same person mm -hmm. who, you know, tried to, you know, if you take that energy and you bring that to Little Rock, Arkansas, and you got a job in HR in Little Rock, Arkansas, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, what? It's like, that's that mm -hmm. thing. So sometimes it's like, it's a learning experience, but it's when people get disrespectful that it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm always one where I'm like, all right, like for instance, like that example where I like, 
I got called out on an email. I got aggressive at first, and I'm like, all right, well, these are the new kids. This is their respect. This is what they want. Great, I'll, I'll do it. But I, initially, I was like, first of all, I've been fucking, I've been around since you was a, since before you were puberty, and now I gotta, I gotta uh, uh, conform to you when I was around you. You know, I did all that, and then I'm like, you know what? I respect it because there are people who do benefit from that, and they should benefit from that. Because it is a thing. I mean, to each its own. To each its own. To each its own. That's dead, bro. Like. That used to be it. Yeah. That shit is used to. Now, now it's, it's like to everyone dumb. to yeah. themselves. Yeah. Like, it's, I, it's I just... mean, again, you got to realize the ignorance level, when you can respect the basic concepts of words, then everything trickles down. But it's when people don't want to do that that it becomes... It, we, we will always use ignorant phrases and then we feed into that ignorance. Well, the, the, mm. the worst is when people are like definitely like kind of are an asshole about it. We're like, you're a she and you're a he. And it's like, all right, yeah, that's very right middle America. Get, yeah, you, right you get America. it. You're trying to make a point, but you're being kind of yeah. annoying about and, it. And look, listen, but, again, now you have to see, like, I can see both sides. I'm mm-hmm. very big on, I can understand. Like, now, if you're a heterosexual male, you know, you have a family, you live in the middle of nowhere. I could see how abstract that concept is to you. So I get it. But like, it's when it gets political. It's like, just let people fucking be what they are. It doesn't take away from you. It doesn't, you're not, you're not ruining your kids. You're not ruining your life. You you know, the same way your kids watched people having sex on TV when you were watching movies and they came out to be straight. Your kids are not going to become gay overnight. Like you, you can't create a gay kid. Like there's no such thing. I mean, okay. I, I I saw a video the other day, and it's like, yeah, you can't like create anybody in any way, shape, or form. It's it depends on how their mind chooses to not manipulate, but to just mold themselves in a way where it's like this is this is the path I'm going to take, but. The video that I saw was, was uh, I told you about this earlier. It was like, if you look at the boomer generation, out of the boomer generation, there was zero point, there was no 2% of the boomer generation that now associate themselves as being gay. When you go to the next generation, it's about 4%, doubled. When you go to the next generation, 6%, which is the next generation after that one would have been the millennials now when you look at gen z 20 percent. yep and it's to the point where it's like now that it's being more open do you call it the fact that it's being influenced to that generation i think it's a blend it's not influence you know what it is well i mean those numbers here's here's what i'm gonna say right and those numbers can be the numbers can be fixed and however they want to say it. Yeah. But um um it's um there are some people where it's like in younger ages and I've witnessed it and I've seen it and I heard it. There are some people in their teenage years that that would go and say like I'm gay. Straight up. I'm gay. Yeah. And it's like, just call it out. I'm gay. Yeah. After a year, they're like, you know what? I'm not gay. I thought it was okay because everyone's saying it's okay. But now that I'm trying to put my perspective and my focus on that, I really am not. And that's fine. And that, and that's fine. But it's it's to the point where it's like, the younger generation, like you, you, you should not know what you. If you can't figure out what you want to be as an adult, then you sh- can't figure out. And I may be wrong when I'm saying this because this is kind of ignorant how I'm saying it. I, I I understand why I'm saying it. If you can't call out from your younger age to your teenage years on what you want to be in as an adult, then you shouldn't call out what your sexuality should be. It's a growing. You're 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 growing. But now remember when you were a kid, right? Oh, you're 14 Jesus. years old. Yep. 
you're 14 years old, right? You know, you're a kid, you're watching porn or 15 or whatever, whenever you came of age where you started having Thank those you. desires. You had those desires, right? Your initial desires this as a heterosexual man. Yeah. Your desires as a heterosexual man were, you know, you were probably watching porn, you were doing this, you were doing that. Those same desires, even though those numbers say those numbers, it don't matter if it was the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, or the 2000s, there were always that those numbers are only getting bigger because people. But yeah, but do those, do that open up more because it's being okayed? And then when you're realizing, you're like, mm, I really am not that way. I, I want you real, guys. If I'm being real with it, I, I think it's a, honestly, I think those numbers are a combination of two things. The first is obviously the most obvious is that we are more progressive than we are. Are we are more progressive now than we were in the past? Yeah. Naturally, people want to come out more. Mm -hmm. But I also think of the influence because, like, when I look at like Elliot Page, Elliot Page to me is a trans person. That's a trans man. That person was going through it, and she was a woman. Being yeah, like you were just saying, like that Valley girl, that fucking transplant who comes over here, like that mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So those some people, those people are inflating the numbers. I think there are people yeah. who are literally trans because yeah. you ever know yeah. when people who they... speak out, you don't see trans people arguing. It's the fucking trans like people that are one of these or the mm -hmm. activists. Right. And we can agree on that inflation, like that inflation yeah. level, like those that specific part. I will agree. When you have those transplants, people that like, they do it for. I wouldn't say attention, but I want to say attention. A hundred percent. There, 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 there are a subgroup of people that they're they don't know what the fuck. They just want to identify with something mm -hmm. to kind yes. of like create a group and kind of like build whatever. There, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. Something. But like well, they and, want to belong and, to something. And then, but also to to like capitalize on it and like maybe influence and pick them on Instagram. You know, big sensation. And then they get like you know all the all the contracts, all the all the. Like Dino Mulvaney, I'm just saying I'm one with Dino Mulvaney. Right? Yeah. No, but to answer the overall, like the overall question, you look at the '70s, the '80s, the '90s, the 2000s. You're seeing a constant increase of people who become openly gay, who are openly acceptable. That's a concept of society allowing those people to come out. Remember, like back in the day. 60, 70, even before that, they were always babies. And they lived this underground world. Like, we, my generation, we inherited the Disneyland version of being gay. Like, everybody did the work for us. We came in, we had prep, we had this, we had, we had everything fucking handed to us. So I always owe respect to that. But they went through hell because back in the day, you would lose your job, your life, your people would blackmail you. It was such a fucked up life that, like, a lot of people they just buried that inside of them so now when you see those numbers inflate what it really boils down to it boils down to the fact that you're seeing that now it's a more accepting world where you don't have to hide you don't have to go hook up with your neighbor while your wife is fucking you know taking care of the kids and you say you go to work but really you guys go get a hotel room and you go fucking hide you go in first and the other one goes in after and then you, you don't have to do all that anymore now remember the saddest thing about being gay is that, and I want you guys to watch an episode of Euphoria. There's an episode of Euphoria that touches heavily on this. And it's an episode, uh, I don't want to derail, but it's an episode where this guy, beautiful life, he has a successful career, he has a wife, he has two sons. And the dad. The dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he that. fucking just derailed because he, you know, he fell in love with some guy in the 80s. They both went their separate ways. They both got married, whatever. And he tried to relive his life when he was older. That's the problem is that the people from the old world, that that little, that low number you saw, they hate their lives. They're, they're all straight, right? Because there was no numbers. They weren't up here. They were down here. Now you have, it didn't go up. You have this much space of people that are married to wives and they are fucking around, they're truck drivers, they stop at truck stops, they go fuck people. They live lonely lives because they're not fulfilled because they're living a lie. They had their kids, they have their wife, they're living a complete lie. And they're miserable because they missed out on the best time of their life when they looked their best, when they were their best, and they're miserable because they can't get that back. There's a wow. hair, hair and makeup. Hair yeah. Hair. Oh, I, no, no, no. He just opened up a lot. You you open up a lot more because when I, when I called out the statistics, of these percentages, and there's like, there's a lot more people that probably aren't a part of these. That percentage was percentage. always like this. It looks like this, but it was always there. 
We got the same grinder accounts. Do you have a grinder? Well, you look like you have a grinder account. He would be an otter. With that a haircut? An otter? Fuck off. I'm and bear. that shirt? You're a bear? Oh, oh no. Oh, hey, 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 relax. He's a bear. Look at his hair. You like his hair? No, tell I don't him care. Sexy with his hair pushed back. I don't fucking Just care. Just tell him. I'm not telling him anything. Calvin, tell him. Hmm? Why are these so salty? They're not. They're everything bagel. Oh chips. my god. These, these will make my face full. They're good though. You know what else is salty? What? Nuts. Salt water. <laughs> huh? Nuts? You you said know. It. Wait, I, knew, I knew you'd get that. I should yeah. keep, still keep this in the edit. We'll do the wide. All the shit yeah, you were talking about, DJ, like, we'll yeah. keep it in there. Oh, dude, boy. Stop. I didn't do anything. Stop. I literally didn't do anything. Stop it. I'm just literally here. I'm to fucking stop it. I'm, I'm literally... I don't like when you do shit I'm like that. I'm a human that. being. No, no. You, <laughs> you, you, you say things, but your eyes... I have fucking say eyes. something. It doesn't fucking matter what color your eyes are. I'm not racist against eye colors. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something right now. It seems like... No, 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 no. You're no. misinterpreting my... I thought. said, we are shooting... We'll, we'll Wait, edit I mean, it and we'll keep it wide. And you're like this. So you're wide. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you guys ever seen that video? Uh, it's like a... Um, oh, God. It's uh, a, I, uh, a video of a guy in a barbershop. And like he's in a barbershop and he's getting his mustache done. And he, he has these big, beautiful green eyes. Like gorgeous eyes. Nope. And then he's like... No, look, and then he looks up at the bar... He looks up at, at the barber and he's like... And the barber's like, close your eyes. And he's like, and he's like, stop looking at me. And the guy's trying to cut his hair. And he's like, stop looking at me. I would never want another man to tell me to close my eyes. Do you go to a barber? I do. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Oh, this should be on camera. This should be on camera. It is. Well, We're it shooting is. it right now. Oh, please don't put that in there. No, this is shooting a wide, so we'll keep it okay. wide. So, I have a question for you guys. When you get a haircut, right? Mm -hmm. Be honest. Don't fucking lie. Don't you fucking lie. This is the gayest question that's going to be asked right it's now. It's not gay, I promise. Well, it's a little gay. Oh. <laughs> Listen, when you're in the barber chair, and be fucking honest, Will, don't lie. When you're sitting in a barber chair, and you're relaxed, and your barber's cutting your hair, and he's touching your face, do, no. you, not, do you not get relaxed no. and no. fall asleep? No. And no. Like, no. Are I, you kidding I, me? I hate I hate. I, I get haircut. goosebumps down I my body. I hate getting my fucking hair It's cut. the most... Erotic experience. I hate when I'm getting a haircut. I hate getting a haircut. And my barber legs touch my leg. I move my leg in. Dude. Shut the fuck up! Is that I what it's it. like to be stripped? So you guys don't get like that intimate feeling? Where, like, no. no. I hate you start it. getting goosebumps That's why I don't down get haircuts back, all the back of your spine. I know. I, I, you don't get goosebumps fucking, down your spine. Only, I think it only happened because was was she was a female barber. And she had oh, so I, need, I need a female so, barber. So, I need a female barber. So. Male hands on your face, and he's like, well, mind you, my barber is Dominican. So, like, when they pull your skin, and they're like, they're like, and then they're like this, and they just go, no, no. Mm. No, no. Does is your gay? barber know you're gay? Oh, yeah. Oh. He's, he's, he's cool as fuck. He's straight, though. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's straight. He's got two kids. He's straight, but he's Dominican. And Dominican men, they're very sensual. So, like, even if you're a man, like, a, a Dominican man, a straight Dominican man, he'll touch you differently. Like, like if I went to a black barber, a black barber would be like, yeah, yeah, he's right. My barber will be like, <laughs> and he'll be like, and he'll be like, you get it? You get it? <laughs> no, I, I kind of like that, actually. I actually it's like, like, it's like, yeah, it's like, like, like I don't know, the Dominican barber now? Yeah. Well, the, the, it's a Russian barber. I'm running on D. Malo. D. I I'll do it. I'll put it. I'll, 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 say, I'll say this. When I got my, I was like, I think the barber was part Dominican. When I used to go to this one guy, he, when he should shave underneath my beard, he would cut it off, like, you know, trim it down. But then he would take, like, the oil, like, a, you know, put it on the skin to keep it from, you know. Yeah. And that's when I would fall asleep. It felt like I was a dog, like, you know, this fish. You see? Because it's, so it's, it's relaxing. It's, and it doesn't yeah. have to be gay. It it's not to be gay. It's, 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 it's just relaxing. It's mad relaxing. Yeah. Like, I... It's just a, it's a relaxing no, experience. I mean, like, listen, when I, when I'm getting a haircut, it's, it's just that business. it's it's all business. Then you're going like, to the wrong barber. No, because like deep down, I am at a point where I'm like, there's 
a fucking like what do you call that shit over you and your hands are underneath it and it's like I hate that I'm at a point of like kind of like submission where it's like and someone's holding a razor to me shaving I can't sleep I can't be relaxed because it's like I am on shit. alert you know what it sounds like, like Calvin you're not secure enough it doesn't matter if I'm no, I, if someone has a razor, you know like, I, I, I love that shit. shit. No, I, I, I literally said about myself, it's weird. Remember, I, 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 I think I told you about I had to get the whole colonoscopy shit. Like, boy, yeah, that's good. Wait, back up. Let's touch on that. Hold on, wait. Oh, oh boy. Wait, so, so you have to get Oh, like, boy. So, <laughs> this is when I found out myself, like, you know, I don't give a fuck anymore. Because I'm for it. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, I have a stupid ass fucking gown on. And they, you know, you gotta, you gotta take everything off. They put the gown on. And it's open in the back. That's what the lady I gotta go to the bathroom. And she tried to she starts to tie it up and everything, but she didn't tie it well enough. So I'm walking out the fucking thing, the couch was open, I just keep walking. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You know what? Ass cheeks out. Because I, I was reading on the internet, it was like, don't be afraid of doctors. They see this every fucking day. Right. What you have, they've seen a thousand oh, yeah. million fucking times. Care. Once you get out your head, you're like, I don't care. Just they get don't it over with. I don't care. They don't. I just don't care. That's why I said that you just like how was that? So what happens is like they 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 do the whole like drip feed like the IV first. They take you into the Wait, room. they give you IV. They have to to get yeah. a colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Because because really? because the first thing they do is like it's all, I don't know what the IV does the first Ugh. thing, but it's probably just the medical process. Once you go into the room, they take that out, and that's when they tell you lay on your side. Are you looking? You gotta get like a fetal position. How you find a guard? And then they inject the sedation yeah. into you. And you look Wait, that. they sedated you for it? Yeah. They never did that for me. Because you, know, yeah. you like this. Really? That's why. They never sedated me. They never gave me an IV. They just fucking shoved their finger in my ass. Like, oh, no. That's the. That's the. Um, you did the. Uh, oh, I never did the colonoscopy. No. I just did the check. Yeah. Once you yeah. did the camera, they got knocked you out. Oh, it's oh. a camera. Bro, so camera. you did the real, real procedure. You did the real shit. Yeah. If, and, and, yo, it's dude, a camera. It's a, yo, you go to sleep within two seconds, you wake up. Yo, I woke up, my clothes were all fucked up. I'm in a different room. <laughs> bad taste from my mother. Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and the bad taste actually comes from what they told the stuff me. stuff that's in there, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the metal is like going to your tongue. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a video of like, 10 uh, doctors around you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, but it's fast. It's really fast. Like, yo, because once they inject you, she's like, yo, you're going to feel a tingle in your head, and then you're just going to pass out. And sure enough, what's, what's your... my brain started tingling, and I was out. Oh, what's your... So, let me ask you. So, oh, it's colon, colon cancer runs in your family? Well, see, the, nah. It, I don't you know, think it, it has to run in your family. It's because of the fact that, like, um, African Americans, for some reason, that's, like, something serious in our community. Yeah. So, they told me, usually, they would tell you to wait till 45, yeah. and then you do it. So, but man, all respect, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's good that you do that because a lot of men they afraid. let that shit go yeah. and then they, and die, then they die. It's so fucked up. That's it. Did they tell you every five years? Yeah, it's, cool. it's and, not that deep. No, and it, it, yeah. it, it goes like that. Seconds, literally seconds. You pass. You know who would die? Over. This motherfucker right here. Yeah, Calvin, what do you mean? You. you. Well, what do you mean I would die? You would never like. I feel like I can't picture you getting a, your a finger up your ass. Ew. They don't okay, do fingers anymore. They do the camera. Well, right? first they do. The, no, he's so much. I think he's so much the process. They did the finger for me. You gonna eat that? No. He rubbed it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> he took it from here. Instead of picking up, he rubbed it. Oh, he's yeah, like, yeah, you're gonna taste everything. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, this I'm did. so sorry. Did. Oh, right. And he put it in his hand. This guy's putting Have a lot. Have you ever got a colonoscopy? No, never. Well, you have to get one. You're almost 40. He's 32. I am not almost 40. You were literally 37. No, I'm not. Well, you gotta get eight because you're a leap year, baby. I'm 35. Okay, well, in five years, you have to get caught. Well, no, I'm seven. Turning eight. eight. Seven. Turning eight. No, it takes two seconds, bro. Just do the colonoscopy. And then sometimes they tell you. Was it a guy that did it? Yeah. Jewish dude. I want want a girl. I want a girl and do it. For some reason, I want guys Jewish people looking at me. I want a girl and do it. They don't do it. They They don't. Oh, oh, hey, 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 (laughs) <laughs> My belt's you off. You got a little something on the side. <laughs> no, but a lot of respect to you though, because again, like, like he was saying, if you don't get that done, a lot of men, a lot of men, they die, they, they die from colon cancer or prostate cancer because they don't get themselves checked out. Like it's a. 
it's a big deal. So, I mean, what, what, what do they... A lot of men? Yes. Lot of, it's like the number, it's like more of my number one killer. It's, it's like breast cancer. Cicular cancer, cancer for, for guys. and anything, any, basically anything you deal with another region, yeah. for some reason, guys are too fucking afraid to go. Yeah. And that like, runs in my family. My grandfather five. died of prostate prostate cancer, and he also had a, a not dementia, but something else in the brain. I thought, um, the same in the membrane? No, but yes. Yeah, he had um, ICP. What's that Insane clown pasta. Insane clown pasta. Not Alzheimer's, not dementia. Yeah. He had Parkinson's. Parkinson's. So he had Parkinson's, but he also had like prostate cancer where his prostate was enlarged. <laughs> like, uh, so it ICP. was my family. So that's why, like, every couple of years, I'll probably get checked out. But let me, don't get me wrong. I'm telling you, even like if you're gay, like that shit does feel weird because it's not sexual. It's very like weird and like you feel raped and like you still feel like uncomfortable. Do you. Wait, you've had a colonoscopy? No, he had a colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah. He had the full, full whole okay. spectrum, but they knocked his ass out. Would you? Okay. okay. <laughs> well, this, we, this is me. We, they shut the finger up my motherfucking ass with some cold ass lube and went, whoop. Did you make a noise? No. Were you like, ah. Also, the doctor, the doctor, <laughs> the, 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 the doctor was kind of hot. The doctor was kind of hot, and I still didn't like it. I was Wait, like, answer oh, Will's question. Weird. Answer Will's question. Me? Oh, he I'm grabs like, you and he I'm rubs like, you and oh I'm my that, god! Well, oh, hey, wow. I love the guy. Hey, we, we grew up together. Yeah. Yeah. We were he grew in the Bronx, together. yo. Me, <laughs> we went out of the band together. Is it working? Uh, no, so again. Uh, you just want to stick with the two shot me out over here. That's infuriating. You're infuriating with your stupid. Hey, I'm gonna come down and talk to you. Uh, you, uh, you hear the word C O M E, not C U M. Oh my god, I saw this video I should send you. It's like straight guys doing that, where like they make everything gay. No, you have. <laughs> oh my gosh, there was this comedian years ago. I remember how to get his fucking name, but he was talking about like when straight guys watch porn, and he's like, everyone is a little gay if you're a straight dude and you watch porn. And his friend's like, no, I'm not. I won't watch women getting fucked. He says, you want to see a guy fuck a girl with a big dick or a little dick? <laughs> oh, he's having a big dick. There you go. Everybody's a little dick. Is gay. that a thing? Well, it's, I don't care, but he makes a good point. Like, most of the time, a lot I of porn stars, you know, that's how it turn is. It like, back the on. more you're packing, the better it looks on camera. So he's like, if you so, fucking watching porn, you want to see a little dick fucking or a big dick? Fucking? So what you're saying is you guys, Everybody you guys search when you watch porn, you search big dick fucks Asian pussy. Love no. Asian pussy. Great. You want to get stressed that. out, right? Right. You don't want to see a little dick fucking big p- uh, pussy, don't you? Okay. Nah. Look at my last one. Don't be afraid, Calvin. That's what you watch. <laughs> That's a girl. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, but that, yeah, that, that, okay, great. You brought this up. What? You brought this well, up. Watch street what? Porn? Yeah, I watch it. See, yes. everybody watches. See, is everybody it the just, same? It looks more appetizing because girls they get wet and shit. Mm-hmm. Like the pussy looks yes. it's very, so... it's very sexy. And like honestly, I never fucked a girl. I wish I did. I feel like I missed out on something in life. You, you never. Said, you threw some with your with your homie. Oh, I want to. I had this one time. Do a threesome with your homie. It's his fiance. Do a threesome with your homie. Do a threesome with your boy. <laughs> he's he's fucked girls before. He's actually been with girls. Like he's had girlfriends and everything. Me, I've never I've never been with a girl, but like I had opportunities. Like there was this one time in Miami, it was this really fucking hot guy, and it was this uh this girl, like his his girlfriend, and they wanted me to go back to their hotel to have a threesome. And I guess like they were both into like she was into him being with a guy and then being with her. Like, we would probably play with each other and then play with her. And I don't know. I got anxiety. I'm all freaked out. And I was like, uh, no, I got to go. I, I'm sorry. I can't. But I should have did it. And to this day. You should have like, did what? Went back to their hotel. It I mean, I don't know. Now but I To would, fuck the guy or the girl? To fuck the guy. I think we would have played with each other and then fucked her together. Like, I don't know what their thing was. Okay. Here's the thing. You've never inserted a woman? No, but I've eaten a girl out. Whoa! The fuck? Yeah, I've done that. So, you, so you, you don't want to put your dick in one, but you'd rather put your mouth on one. I just did it. Like, I was like, I think, like, I was 17 and 
it was did you like it friend. no it, it tasted it was like, your best friend it tasted like metal huh it, was blood. Clean. it, it just tasted like metal What's like the skin metal uh, it was, i think you've been with the wrong girl dude i mean even if it was the right girl it just it doesn't do it for me it doesn't hit that dingly ding in the back of my throat you know? mm. got it. it it's not a thing got it yeah no end quote core to be <laughs> <laughs> But you know what's crazy though? Like a lot of um, straight guys, like when I was younger, like I've messed with guys when I was in like high school and they have kids now and wives. That's why I'm curious. Like you guys have never had experience with a guy? No. Ever? Such fire. Well, you one time I got like, blood fucked on my mm-hmm. uncle. It's so hot. <laughs> don't kid about shit like that. Don't. 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 People don't do that. Don't. I have a friend that does that. Oh my god! No, it gets it. to the point. I'm so, I'm sorry. It gets to the point where you kid around about things like that, and it's like, did it really yeah, happen? I, I knew. I knew your kid. Did Thank Uncle Roger you. really? Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. No, I, understand. Yeah. No, I, understand. Yeah. I don't know. You know I have a friend that has that same humor where like he'll literally like yeah, it's like I was just with my dad and like, <laughs> like, like what? It's like, fucking wrong. It, it's, it, it's like yeah, it's like it's like, <laughs> he likes to see the people like to see the reaction of other people when see? they see stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and a lot of the reactions are gonna be like cringed. Oh, come on, it's born in the show. It's you know, it's funny. You rather have the person that have the cringe reaction to hearing things like that than the person like this. Yeah. <laughs> than the person that's going, Yeah. What do you think about them now? Uh, has that happened? I'm just saying, there are there are people like that. Yeah. There are I people like that. Go ahead, leave shoot. It, leave it. Since we're having a conversation, leave it on camera, off camera. It's shoot. gonna be on. I don't edit shit. Please tell me you're gonna edit this. Dude. I'm this not. I don't edit I shit. I just yeah, no, because I'm fucking lazy, bro. I just record out. Okay, so like you and Vanessa, you guys never like been with somebody else? No. Ever? No. Why? I don't know. Because like, we're human, and like, there's you know what. There's more in the world. No, 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 no. Really? <laughs> I thought you guys no. were like these. Me and Ron, we had this idea and perception of you guys. We thought you guys were like these like hardcore rockers. Swingers? Like, yeah, we thought that like no. when you went down to Florida, like, you guys were like these no. swinger clubs, like no. rock singer clubs, where you guys are like dressed no. in like black leather. No, no. And like you're at like a party. No, because you know, honestly, cool. it's like we get off on each other, and that's it. See, that's good. You keep things fresh. That's what you do. You keep things fresh. And that's all you need. You don't need another person to fucking enter the bedroom. Like, what the fuck? That's why I was like, I destiny. So what if, what if Vanessa said, oh, um, like Vanessa's like work friend, she's a girl, and Vanessa's like, I want, I want us to play together. Would you do it? No. Shut up. You're such a the fucking fuck liar. Of... You're a liar. No. If no, Vanessa no, no, told no. you that she, she no, wants to bring her. Because really... that leads no, to you, other. You no, think, no, 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 no. you think that she's lying. No. Here's the thing. It leads. Uh, her friend is who? And what? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a concept. A concept of what? Like, okay, so her friend is like this, like, you know. I don't know, hot girl she works with, and like they are kind of like. No, no, because it leads into something that when you're with another person, and we've been together for very long, and we have children and stuff like that, and then like to to say, oh, I want to bring my friend in the bed. And it's like, it's like you don't want something to go south. After the fact, we're let's like, just say this, right? You and your partner. Bring in another guy, Will. And all of a sudden, you're caught with another face of pleasure with Will. What do you think Ron's going to say? Oh, see, no, that's a whole he, different thing. He's going to be like, wow, i never seen that face before. No, see, you're thinking into it because Vanessa's a Hispanic woman. And you know it's just, how Hispanic women are. It just, no, that's, it's not no, that he's against it. He no, didn't say he's against it. He's against the repercussions of oh, the no, action. See, yes, that's what you just did. This is being edited now. <laughs> you're against the repercussions of the action. It's not the repercussions of the action. Instead of him saying, nope, because um, I'm secrets. not into that. And, um, <laughs> I, am, I am a good boy, and I am not into that. You know what he says? He says, well, no, what if, like, you know, he's like, <laughs> no, you I'm, saw what he did there, right? No, it's, it's, it's being 
devil's advocate. No, it? you're against the repercussions of oh, your actions. Oh, God. See? First and last. First and last. First and last. Gay person great. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you're going to edit some of this because I'm sorry. No, I don't you fucking have edit to, it. This is all messy. Messy. This is Whatever you say, you know, let it be messy. No one edits this show. Are you done? I'm working on it. Deleting fucking photos. He's like 90% of his fucking photos. Anyway, we're going to do this right now. I'm doing a lot of shit, by the way. Here's, here's a question. A lot of really, really right? cool shit that I'm deleting. <laughs> we're going to do this right now. And I mentioned this on a phone call with you. I know you like to travel. You travel all over the world with your partner. Ooh. The question is this. When you're traveling and you're going to other countries, do you ever research to learn because you're gay and you have a partner? Do you research saying that, hey, what are the do's and don'ts as a gay couple going to this country? Or do you just go into it saying, I am me, I am who I am, and I'm proud of who I am, and we are proud of who we are, and we're gonna go and we don't give a shit. A little bit both. So we, when we go and we travel, we, wherever we go, we kind of always are, we're getting feedback from other people who have been to those places. And then we act accordingly. So like me and Ron, we're very, when we walk in a room, like we don't necessarily walk in a room and you know that we're together. Holding hands. Yeah, so we, for instance, when, whenever we travel, we. We're not, we're not, we're, we're, in general, we're not that type of couple. Like, we're not, you're not gonna see us holding hands down Ninth Avenue, or we're not like public affection y, and we're not like that. So, whenever we travel too, like, we keep that, like, kind of like, you know, because we always have our guard up because we're, we're foreigners, we're not from there. But there are countries, like, the countries we've been to, they're very gay friendly. Like, uh, the ones we've been to are gay friendly, but like, there are countries that are not gay friendly that people go to. And those countries, you got to be really careful, like Dubai, for instance, Would you? United Emirates. Well, it's not, it's not even that. It's not even gay friendly. I mean, even, even if you're a, a couple, a male and female going to Dubai, you're not supposed to show any public um, affection. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's like the Dubai is to the point where it's changing because they, they know they are becoming a lot more tourist. Yeah. You can show affection, but affection should be only hand holding or a peck on the cheek, but you shouldn't be making out. You shouldn't be grasping or holding each other. Then here's, it's... here's an example of like, so one of our friends, we were at dinner the other night and he was telling us about his experience in Dubai. And I found this so interesting. He was like, so now imagine you and Vanessa, you go to Dubai, you want to just have a good time, whatever you you know, take public transportation, you want to get around, you just want to feel what it's like to be in Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. So unknowingly, as Americans, they're in a train car. So they're in a train, picture like you're on the subway, you're on the one train, right, in Dubai. So they're going through the cars, they're going through the cars. There are clear signs that say, this is a woman's only car. And they pass through not knowing that like the man is not supposed to be in that car and people are like yelling at them like you can't be in here in their language they're like yelling oh, at them shit. like so there are specific cars for women and women only and men are not allowed to be in there and that goes to show you like the cultural shock like in places like that like you just don't know like you're innocent you don't know you're american you're like oh this is fine. no but they're like scolding you like you can't be here is that based on the religion where that comes from? It's to the point where it's like, it's, I, you know, it, it's so hard being where we are and who we are in this society. You got to be scared to what you want to say. But like for me, for instance, I'm not Muslim. But if I know there's a woman only train car and there's Vanessa has home. to go to work yeah. and come home. And she goes in a woman only train car, it would make me feel a lot more better. Oh, God. Knowing that she's in a woman only. You know what I mean? <coughs> but from Jesus here, but listen, but you hear all these stories of 
going on the MTA and, and, and women are sitting there and this guy goes and pulls his dick out and starts jerking off in front of them. Complete opposite, yeah. I get that. You know what I mean? Now, it's, now it's, I'm following it's, you. Okay. It's not, no. My, Wait, my, now my, I'm following you because you're saying it from a safety perspective. Look, you're correct, a comfort of mine, correct. not from no, a masculine. No, like, no, no, no. Yeah, like, like if you guys so, looking at her. No, no, no. You're saying it from that. like a you'll feel more comfortable Come in your heart knowing yes. that like that culture is protecting that is women. Listen. She can go anywhere she wants. I know there will be eyes looking at her. Yeah. It's it's not for me to be insecure, be like, no, no, the girl is looking at her. Yeah, that's no, no, initially no. what I thought. No, no, no. no you, it's it's, you mean it's from like, a wholesome if perspective. she cares and she loves the relationship, if a guy looks at her and she doesn't bat an eye or even look or just be like, whatever, then all, all is dandy. Yeah. But... A guy looks at her and bats an eye, and then she's like, bats an eye, looks back at the guy, and then it's like, what the fuck's going on? Has that ever happened? Hmm? Has that no. Ever happened? Okay. No. 15 years in a relationship. I don't know half the things. She don't know half the things. Well, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. but I'm just saying, it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm not knocking when people are like, women only. And it's like. Yeah. I wish I knew that was sports. I understand. Even though your your perspective, <laughs> like even though your perspective, your it's value of it is different from their value of it. Yeah. So your value of it is wholesome. Their value of it is more like wholesome, but also controlling of women. Mm. You know, like like Ron's culture, like he like Muslim cultures, like whether you're Afghan or from like Ira- Iraq or wherever, it's all like kind of like the same concept where like. The women are controlled to an extent. Here's, okay. and I don't really like that. I I'm gonna ask a question. Um, this question is a little weird, but knowing where your partner comes from, a a part of the world where majority of the people their religion is Muslim, and coming from, and we spoke about this in the last episode coming from being a Muslim country and from worshipping the Quran being gay in the Muslim community is shunned upon it's a big no Mm -hmm. you're not allowed to not not even allowed to You, you cannot and with him being that way how does he feel about it he's very conservative mm hmm In a sense where, like, with family and stuff, like, he respects, he has immense respect for his culture, his religion, his family, and I never take away from that. But I do throw shade. Like, I'll be a little shady and make jokes or whatever. But, like, you know, I don't take away from his upbringing because I do think that, like, their culture, so, like, when you're a Muslim and you're from that part of the world, there is, like, a beauty to that protectiveness in that culture because they're very family oriented they are very religious they're very they're all about their family and that trickles down into their lives where they think twice before they do certain things or whatever it's a it's a very conservative world so i respect that but i don't there's also times where i'm like you know I respect him for going outside of his element and living his life because a lot of people, like we talked about earlier, about how, remember we were talking about like the 70s, 80s, 90s mm-hmm. in America or just in the world with gay people or whatever. Now, time's not by a hundred in those parts of the world. You have gay people. They're, a lot of them are gay. A lot of them are gay, but they, time's a hundred. They, they can't, they can't sum up the balls and the, and, and the, they can't sum up the balls and they can't like go out and say, you know what? Fuck this. I want to live my life. I want to do what I want to do. They don't do that because of their religion. So it kind of dampers down on them even more so than in America where we kind of just like, now we're seeing all this openness around us over there. You can't fucking do that. So with him, like for instance, his parents, they don't know about him. His, uh, his parents don't know his I his sister and his brother I know, but his parents, they're for all they know, and, they, and not that they're stupid. I'm sure they know because mind you, he's 44 years old, mm-hmm. doesn't have kids. He's the only one that doesn't have kids. Everybody else has kids, so they're not dumb. But there's never been that conversation, 
And sometimes that conversation doesn't have to happen. Like I have, I've never had that conversation with my dad, you know? Yeah. And that's from like that machismo standpoint, being Puerto Rican, you know, you don't want your father to be like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you just don't want to have those kind of people. No, you're right. Though. I mean, I think that's huge, especially like even the black people. Oh my gosh, it is everywhere. I mean, when I was, um, why am I, I won't say teens. I used to get into a lot of fights. I used to say like, you like you say it's about UFC. I feel like every fucking summer I was booked for a match because I was always fighting. And one day my father came to me and he was like, if you keep fighting, you know, you're going to go to jail one day. You're going to hurt somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And if you go to jail, you let another man take your manhood. Don't come on. <laughs> That's what he told me. Yeah. I was like, what? The? And, I, and it left me stunned. I was like, first of all, I don't, I don't hope that I'm going to jail. Mm-hmm. But if someone beat me up, if I got game jumped, now they jumped me, I got... I can't defend myself. If something happens to me, yeah. I'm a victim. You're not gonna let me come home. Yeah. It's but it's that hyper masculinity. But that's the hyper masculinity yeah. you're talking about. You're 100. But also, too, black men, black men deal with so much shit like that, where mm-hmm. it's like people don't give black men the room to be vulnerable. Also, black men don't give themselves the room to yeah. be vulnerable. I fucked up. You have to always be, you know, this kind of cold, hard, whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's like, that's something that's been talked about. Like, I know, I'm noticing a lot, a lot of people are like, yo, like, black men have feelings. What? They yeah. have emotions. It don't have to be, you know, uh, this like, hard world, this hard this. Like, yes. You're right. Give me that mic. Yeah. Well, at least it picks up this. But um, no, when I was no. a kid, I used to have a lot too. And I was, that's one thing. So like, I came out, like, me being gay, I came out rather early. Like, I came out early. But, like, even though I was gay, I was, like, a firecracker. So, like, people wouldn't disrespect me. They wouldn't try. Hey! No, I mean. Oh, I sorry. But, like, for what? instance, like, I was in high school. I'll never forget. I was in ninth grade. And this kid called me a faggot in the hallway. Like, he bought me and called me a faggot. And like it took me a second to react, and like the bell rang, and he went in his classroom. And I went in his classroom, dragged him out the classroom while the fucking everybody's sitting in their chairs, dragged him out the classroom, beat him up, and after that, they know that he's the fucking talk to me. So sometimes, like, I feel like now looking back, like I'm not that person no more, but like, you know, I see now, like, when you're so sad people, for yourself. Yeah, like when I see people getting bullied or something, it's like, I've never been the type to be like, I'm gonna let somebody walk all over me. No, I hear you. I'm like, I'm, I'm really like a libertarian at heart. So I have that don't tread on me sort of mentality. Yeah. So even if I don't agree with certain things, like I don't care who you are and what you do. But I do have a problem when you either got legislation or you even have physical qualifications just because a person is different. Mm. I mean, I could be walking across the street and if I see somebody jump in a, a trans do anybody, I can't fuck you up because I don't yeah. think you have a right to beat up anybody who has a life choice. Wait, are you saying? Yeah, if you if someone was jumping, are you saying yeah. that if you see a bunch of guys beating up a trans person? Yeah, I'm fucking them up. You, get, you're, yeah. you're gonna yeah. jump in with those guys? <laughs> As a little child, <laughs> you're gonna, I agree. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's joining against trans person. I just feel like a person should be allowed to be who they are. <laughs> Even if I either disagree True. or you agree, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They have the right to be as much as you do. Listen, yeah. here's the thing, right? To each his own. Do whatever you want to do what to make you happy. But that's not how the world works. The, yeah, which it. the world doesn't right. revolve in a way where it's, it's nice. It's pretty words. Like what no, you're no, saying no. is pretty no, words. No, it's, it's it's this. This is how I feel, and this is how my brain works. To each its own. I love that saying, to each its own. Do whatever it takes to make you happy. Why the fuck should someone else care? You're you're not living my life. You're you're not in my shoes. You don't know what I go through. Mm -hmm. You don't know the pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. And you don't know the happiness. That what I feel. What you're saying is exactly why. It's It's not only ignorance, though, it's hypocrisy, because now we're seeing more and more. I mean, this has been throughout history, right? Mm -hmm. 
So you're seeing more and more. It's always the people. You got to pay attention to the people that fight the hardest against being free and minding your own motherfucking business. <laughs> Those people that don't want people to be themselves, they end up, and this is karma, but this is the universe conspiring to put them in their place. But you'll notice if you look throughout history and in politics and everything, they end up, it's the people that fight people on their freedoms that they end up like having an affair with a man. Like, I think we're just, we're just yeah. seeing it now. Like this guy like was fucking another guy in like the fucking Senate office or some weird shit like that. I don't know. Well, yeah, he's doing all for votes. You know? like, no, I, I'm not, I'm not, but like, yeah, I'm really not like, defending the guy. But yeah, I saw that and I, you motherfucker! Or like it's cheesing it for the fucking days. Or like, let's say, for instance, like religion. Right? religion in how many, how many pastors and priests oh, yeah. molesting children, but they are, you know, anti this, anti that, and they're like, it's just, it's crazy. I used to, I used to read up on, you don't know, Anton Levin, the Satanist. Mm -hmm. you know? So I used to read a lot of like books and like uh, yeah. philosophy. And they said one of the major problems with a lot of Christianity and a lot of these religions is they try to separate the like your overall like the religious side of it from the partner side. So they say you're gonna bolster the sides of like you know praising the Lord, God, whatever. But that cardinal side, that that flesh that you're gonna deny yourself, that's the part that eats away at those fucking trees. Mm -hmm. Because they are uh, whether it be gay, bi, straight, they try to repress something that is natural to who they are. Just because they want to be as holy as possible, but they can't ever fight those urges. Yeah. And you see how some of these people act when they get in those situations. Don't worry, show some fucking priest somewhere is banging his his nun. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Because he's he, you're human at the end of the fucking yeah. day, bro. Exactly. You're human. You know, and exactly. that's what you're seeing. You're seeing a lot of these guys who, I mean, yes, come from the situation, but like nonetheless, if they whatever, whatever sexual preference they have. You see them fight it as much as yep. they can because they're trying to be as religious, mm -hmm. but it's ridiculous. And then it shows itself, it manifests in yes, so many in like, the worst ways. Yeah. In the worst ways. Yep. It's completely a thing. Yeah. Completely a thing. You need a balance. That's why I, believe, that's why I don't have a religious God. I respect the Baptist priest. You know, he's still fucking around with bitches and he's praising the Lord. He's just. And he's open. <laughs> 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 The what? <laughs> <laughs> the Baptist priest. So scalping ones, you gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like um, yeah. they like, always have a, a budget for all the problem lawsuits. A budget? <laughs> a <laughs> budget. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, so it's, it's like, listen, Giovanni was respectful. He took his uh, mm -hmm. his mic off. So did I. What the fuck? You were respectful. I was no. not. You went in? I went in. Mm. That's going to be hilarious. Though. And it's you like. No. No, I, I'm not. I told you I'm lazy doing this shit. I took a piss. There's no, there's, no, no, no. It's, but it's like, there's no reason to get crazy. I with fucking it. took a piss with the stream just fucking hit. Oh, you didn't do the side? No. No, you, you went, went right in? Fucking going for it. It was a. Fire hose, just fucking hitting Dude, the water, in. In. and you heard it. And then, as I'm as I'm taking a piss, I'm like, "This is fucking loud." I wonder if the guys are. Here. <laughs> and then I look down. I'm like, "Oh no!" Grasping, <laughs> he started grasping my mic. I was like, "Is this gonna help?" What the fuck is this gonna help? <laughs> oh, that that that's beautiful. Leave, leave it in. Don't, don't edit. Don't, don't believe it. it. Don't believe it. it. I'm not editing shit. Dude. You know. For all the people that are fucking watching this shit, it's like you you see and you hear everything that we go through from start to finish. We're not editing it. We're not looking to be politically correct. We're not looking to be whatever it may seem, but we're just going to state our mind and we're going to say whatever the fuck we Also, say. very informative. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, very... He's amazing. He should be a star on the show. It's like... Yeah. I, I, it's we're, we're we've passed the one thirty mark, and I feel like the conversation can go longer. Yeah, the conversation can definitely go longer. It could, but we, we definitely, definitely get drunker. Is I the the drunker you are, the more. And we're only drinking tea. 
drunk off tea. tea. Yeah. I mean, I'm so <laughs> drunk on Kratom right now. Um, yeah. It's just been very... It's just... Off, off tea? Like iced tea? Yeah, yeah iced tea. Yeah, sweet tea. Is that sweet tea? Yeah, yeah for sure. <clears throat> yeah, sweet tea. He, he licks the rim. <laughs> That is, that is a whole beer. So, so our sponsors aren't gonna like that. that. You know, our sponsors are Miller Lite. They're not gonna like that. You can't go out to this podcast. podcast. We're sponsored by Zoa. 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 He pulled one out. He took one out the fridge. The energy drink. It's really good. Wait, that's an energy drink? Yeah. Yes. I thought this was a fucking beer. <laughs> no, that's Zoa. Jesus. It's what are you doing? What are you running to? Getting a fucking run laps? Everyone's whole miles. We have a Coors Light back there. Yeah, I, like, like, I would be never, sh- ever in my life drink a fucking Coors Light. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Let's, uh, whatever. Um, no, honestly, Zoa, really good energy drink. Yeah, I always, I always, I didn't know it was I an energy drink. No, good. dude, it's so I was good. wondering where my heart was beating. So good. Oh, cocaine. Oh, oh boy. Uh, listen, we are passing, surpassing what our time limit usually are on these podcasts. Oh, that's good. And when we're doing that, that means we're having a good conversation. Good. But we have to end it soon. Well, we have to end it now. Uh, normally, if you paid attention to these podcasts, Podcasts. 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 Oh, give me a podcast. Po- Listen, I got an eight pack of Guinness. It's all gone. I looked wait, for wait, them. Wait, They're wait. all gone. I uh, drank them all. Guys, I, I, drink them. I drank them all. I, I got now I'm on. I got to more. I grab another beer there before that. I, I don't know. Yeah. But this is what we do. We end the podcast on a quote. And the quote goes like this. If you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. What the fuck kind of quote is that? <laughs> it's a quote. <laughs> you want the rain- You're gay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the dick. But- <laughs> <laughs> I only. Listen, whoever watches this shit, I don't care what their opinion is of me. We know how we are. Absolutely. We know what our relationship is. I respect the fuck out of you. I hope you do the same with me. Always. But it's like because of that, it's like there there are limits to have a conversation with a person that is on a different gender or a different color or a different like I don't know. Well, I, I had so my respect, respect for Jermaine is up here. Yeah. And then when I found out he was gay tonight, kind of dropped. Tonight, my yeah. ass. Tonight. Not, not the night. 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 Yeah, I was like, oh shit, I really can't. When, when you were like, put a garbage bag over that thing. <laughs> No, but on, you man. give yourself give yourself credit, and I give everybody credit in this room because while we're having these conversations, again, it comes from a place of openness, a place of learning, a place of understanding. And again, if you don't learn these things or no one tells you, you're not gonna know because it's not. No, there's no encyclopedia. There's no fucking book. No. There's no you know when it comes to learning about sexualities or other people's religions or even fucking. You have to be told by somebody else. Yeah. So it's all a learning experience, but it's the being open in your mind to hearing those things. And that's why I respect you. Yeah. Because you come from a place of, no, I really genuinely want to learn these things. And you've learned a lot. Like there were things in the past that you said where I'm like, Calvin, we can't say that no more. And you learned and then you don't say it. Oh, yes. You got 2018 Calvin was fucking up. I would have loved to have known 2018 Calvin. You would have loved to have known He fucking bullied me, him and Mike. They're like, back then, so it was a whole different world in our industry. Back then, like, 
I, I didn't tell anybody I was gay, and they, they he, he thought I was gay, and I never said anything. And oh, and I, wait. <laughs> no. Here's what happened. It was an interview. He walks in the office, right? He walks in the office, and then he comes in. He's like, hi, my name is Giovanni. I was like, this <laughs> nice to meet you, Giovanni. And I, I gave him a whole interview, and the interview went well. And he walked out, and he left. I went into our manager's office. I was like, hey, um, is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. They're going to be straight as hell. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I tried. I was like, I you will try. I you will try. I really you will try. But there are things. There are things. Listen, naturally, <laughs> you are who you are. I mean, I didn't out the office. Yeah. I felt like I wanted yeah. to go. So like, it's like, like, yeah, 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 <laughs> but uh, that was our yeah that was our first thing but what we naturally do is when we end these podcasts is, it's a quote we already said it yeah yeah but you gotta fucking say who the uh, uh, the, 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 the actress who played, played Dorothy from Miss if Miss you Miss want Miss the Miss rainbow Miss. you have to put up with the rain Richard Simmons oh no, no fuck away really? wow did, did no no it? he didn't get it I didn't say he got it but you your reaction that would have been like, a whoa. person that would have said it um, yeah, yeah, the, the, the actress who played Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. Okay. I don't fucking know. Just um, fucking say a name. Judy Garland. Garland. Judy Garland. Okay, whatever. That's a good one. Say a name. Just say, say a name. Say a name. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> no. Marcus, you'll love this one. Dolly Parton. No fucking way. Dolly Parton. Dusty McGee. Yeah. Dusty McGee. Yeah. 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 And this is where we ended. All right, <laughs> all right, all right folks. Good show. Good show. Good show. You're a 